Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds. I'm your host Gavin Hatch and this is episode 106. This week we're over at the Universal Orlando Resort, so let's get started in Universal Studios, Florida. As you can see, there was some production taking place in the streets of New York over in the park, and this is something that a lot of people don't realize still takes place almost on a daily basis at Universal. It is still a real working production facility for movies, TV shows, and commercials. A lot of commercials actually do film here, and that was what was taking place this day that we were in the parks about, I want to say, a week or two ago. So this was for a, what we were told, a uh, car insurance commercial. And what was going on was they were dropping a piano from a crane that was out of camera view onto, what else? A car in the streets. And it uh, you can see some of the photos of what the car, the car looked like after the piano had been dropped on it. Now, we didn't stick around for very long to see the actual the action happen and of course it's a long process when you're filming something especially a big production like this so we really only saw them pretty much ending the day and cleaning up but it is very interesting because of course for the safety of everyone guests are not able to just get that close to it but you can still see uh, and it's really great, uh, great and helpful to have a camera so you can use the zoom but it is something that again it's really exciting to just see and if you wanted to you could grab some drinks and just hang out there um, if you go a lot and you're not really interested in doing the rides, you can just hang out there and watch productions take place. Now just steps away from where that production was taking place, over right next to where the Blue Man Group show takes place in the streets of New York is the new Auntie Anne's Pretzel Kitchen. This was recently added. I don't think I've shown you this location before, but I have shown you the one in City Walk and also Islands of Adventure that opened up just a couple of months ago. So now there are three locations for Auntie Anne's Pretzels, which are famous and delicious and smell really good. So I'm sure they do great business in the parks, but they now have three at Universal, which is great. So this is something if you are looking for a treat that you are used to and that you are familiar with while you're in the parks. You know, it's it's always nice to see and have kind of like that comfort food, things that you are used to, even though Universal has some great food that you should try that you don't get to have back at home if you're not from here. So uh, it's a really cute little setup and it is well themed and fits in perfectly in the streets of New York. Moving further back into the park, we can see that there is some serious construction and a lot of progress since the last time I've been here and showed you guys pictures at Universal of the Fast and Furious Supercharged Attraction. Now, the graffiti construction walls that were up and were up since disaster closed, those have been removed and they have put up new construction walls that are just a solid black color and it has advertising for the new uh, Fate of the Furious, which is the latest film to come out, uh, and I believe it came out April 14th, and that is the latest film in the franchise, and they also do have some advertising for the attraction itself. It's more just the logo, as you can see, uh, of, for the ride itself, but it's not going to be any concept art pictures on the wall just yet. I'm sure they'll take away the movie posters after the movies come out on Blu-ray and start advertising more of the attraction attraction itself, but let's take a look here. This building is massive. Uh, we now have learned, I believe, that there is going to be a uh, virtual queue set up here just like Jimmy Fallon. So this is the future. I believe that all future rides and some existing rides will com be converted over time to the virtual queue system. And so you'll probably be waiting in the warehouse based on what we've seen from the concept art and you can see the entrance here is very similar um, I don't have that image because it's not mine but there is an image out there uh, from some of the facades from the sets from the film uh, that look very similar to this so guests are already speculating that you know it's going to be again I'm not too familiar with the franchise and I, it's not my information to release but it there is information out there that this is, looks very familiar to some of the sets from the film and looking at it, it's just, it is, I've said it time and time again, that it is a massive show building. It's so huge, and I, I can't wait for us to get closer to the opening date because then Universal will release more information and we can really learn some facts about really what to expect and what great technology is being used in this attraction. And I, I'm, I just am really looking forward to it, even though I am not a huge fan and haven't even seen all of the Fast and Furious films. 
So it's something I will do before it opens up though. And moving on here, you can see that it's just, uh, they have the cars set up still, so you can still see some of the show cars from the film over at the entrance, well, the old entrance of Disaster. And I've heard that this will not be the entrance to Fast and Furious. So that will be moved over to where Beetlejuice was and this area, who knows what they're gonna do with this space but it will not be the entrance to the attraction. Of course, that's not official, but that is what we've heard, and based on what we've seen so far with what's going on over where Beetlejuice used to be, it looks like that will be the main entrance to the attraction. Now, just this past week, one of my good friends, Chris, was able to go ahead and stay over at Cabana Bay Beach Resort and was able to get a room that overlooked Volcano Bay that's opening up on May 25th and it was in one of the new towers. Those two towers, if you're familiar with what's been going on, they have quickly built these beautiful two new towers on Cabana Bay site and it overlooks and almost looks like it's part of Volcano Bay water theme park. And I, I can't thank you enough, Chris. Thank you so much for sending me these photos. They're fantastic and I'm so jealous that you got this view because I would have just been taking so many pictures and been sitting in there watching all the construction taking place at Vol Vol Volcano Bay. So let's take a look here. So this is the outside of the uh, of the tower and they are, pr I think they're pretty much done. And they have kind of like a blue trim to them um, on the interior of the wall, on the ex exterior wall here. Uh, and it's just, it's very sleek and uh, modern, but still uh, that classic 1960s uh, beachside architecture of the hotels that used to be, you know, what you'd see driving up and down the highways back in the day, and it's it's really great. Inside, the theme continues, and th this building here, uh, based on the photos that we're looking at here, was Beachside, so this is the Beachside building. I'm not too familiar with what the other uh, buildings' names are, but Volcano, or I should say Cabana Bay, is uh, very well-themed. If you guys have had the chance to stay there, you'll know it's just, it's immersely theming and it's it's fantastic. So inside, you have some really cool vintage-looking advertisements for Volcano Bay and it's just it's really cool I love the whole look of this and the colors and it's just it's all done throughout the entire property now you have the elevator lobby here uh, so it is a round building so when you come out of the elevators there are rooms directly right there in front of you they kind of have this little divider here so it helps with sound and probably also just added privacy if you're opening up your hotel room door but let's get to it. Let's talk about what you guys want to see. It is the view from inside the room, and look at this view. This is something that, again, like I said, I would be obsessed with. Uh, just to sit here and watch. I am so fascinated with the whole construction process of Volcano Bay, how fast it and how efficient it's been. It's a 24-hour operation, and they have that deadline of May 25th. And look at this, you can just really see, um, there's not, I don't have too many pictures of the, of really of the park itself, it's more of what, you know, what the room is, but you can see like, in, in this photo here, it is, looks almost like uh, advertisement with a, you know, you can just imagine a family coming in and the blinds are open and seeing the park right there. You're literally overlooking the park like this and I don't think there's really, many hotels out there that are this close to their their theme parks so this is really cool i mean it's just a great view of what's to come here and i cannot i just i can't wait to be able to sit here and just i'm a people watcher that's why i love doing it in the parks and so the thought of being able to just sit in my own room and be able to actually just watch people having fun and just seeing things going on, especially at night. Also, that'd be interesting to see kind of the behind the scenes thing, seeing the crews working on things at night and just seeing the operations of what's going on early in the morning before guests come in. This would be great to do from your room. I know not everyone's like me, but that's how I am. I'm, a, I'm just that type of person. Also from the room here, this is, um, this is not a suite. Uh, this is a standard room, but these towers do have two bedroom family suites. And all the other rooms, the rooms that have been here at Cabana Bay that were built before these towers, they have one bedroom suites, but they do not have two bedrooms. So this is a really cool, but this is not one of the two bedroom suites, but this, the bathroom 
really impressed me here. Uh, again, the fixtures and everything is just like the other rooms that have been there before, but they do have, and I have not seen this before at Cabana Bay, I'm sure, I'm not 100% sure if this is the, if this is new for this tower, but I've not seen them in the other rooms, but this is a walk-in shower, so that is really nice. And then you also have, again, just the, the standard, um, same furniture that is seen in the other rooms, it was just brought over to these towers, and again, just one last look here. Uh, of the room and it's just it's so fun. I love this hotel. It is a great hotel for value I, I feel like it's much better than the Disney value hotels. I love art of animation But still I think Cabana Bay when it comes to a value hotel for an on-site hotel at a theme park You get your money's worth and it is just a lot of fun I've never heard any negative complaints or negative things about this hotel well, that will do it for this week's edition of Photo Finds. I hope all of you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, share it with everyone, and of course, subscribe to Attractions Magazine. Thank you again. Have a wonderful week. And as always, make sure you get out, you have fun, and you enjoy those parks.